What you've also got in here is body language. What does it look like? Really excited about being here today. We're going to have a great time. It's marvellous. <laughs> really excited about being here today. It's going to be great. It's going to be a marvellous time. Hopefully you saw the difference. So there's something here about the body language that you see as well. Is that person hearing you or are they actually listening to you and taking it on board? The distorted message itself can come from many, many different things. The distortion can come from just purely the fact that you're saying some words, which are fantastic, but if your body language isn't congruent with those words, then you'll have a distortion and people will take away a different message to the one that you were hoping to give. And that's interesting when people are lying as well, because often they can be saying something, but the body language is saying something completely different. And as, as homo sapiens, we, we read more in body language than we ever do hearing the words that are coming through, because we see so much more. And inter we interpret that as well. So our own assumptions and our own attitudes and our own beliefs all come into that. Well, when he did that, I think this. So you start to have gut instincts about it. And all of that fills in this, this gap. So somebody said about self-awareness. I think you said about self-awareness. And that really is what you've got to be in there. You've got to, be, got to really start to be self-aware about what it is that you're communicating and then making sure that the other person's aware of it by using all these areas here in order to do that.